up guys a little live stream tonight thanks for joining us <laughs> by us I mean I'm Kevin from Relax and Learn Guitar this is our official mascot Maggie May who really enjoys our live streams because it means she gets treats let me see what we got over here I had to give her a treat right before we started because she took one of my guitar picks. She is the fastest dog around when it comes to if I ever leave a guitar pick on any flat surface that she can reach. <laughs> it's it's over. That's all I got, girl. That's all I got. That's it. And my wife, Vicki, is here. So when I say we, I mean myself, Kevin, and I uh, help music lovers over 40 become the guitar players they've always wanted to be. We're doing a little YouTube live stream tonight. Woo, got some folks in the house already. What's up, Brad Davis? Frank's here. Dell's here. What's up, Diana? Michael Gonzalez, Randy Cruz. Enric, what's up, Enric? Good to see you. If you all want to say hello, uh, feel free in the comments. And my screen is not working, so you can look good there. Hope you guys can see and hear me okay. Let's see here. There we go. I'm back. What's up? Robert's here. He made it. Robert was out of power. Hopefully you've got it back. What's up, Mr. Gonzalez? Oh, what's up? Uh, Sarita's here. Michelle. I'm not sure if to call you Sarita or Michelle. Kind of call you both. So, got some members from Relax on Guitar on the live stream tonight. Always good to see you guys. And this is a fun one. So, uh, we run a, a guitar membership called Relax on Guitar. And we have some amazing members. A lot of them are on the live stream tonight. And uh, one of my, our amazing members, what's up, Michael Gregory, uh, Joe sent me a uh, little surprise gift. It's a, Hi, Craig. a little mini two beat buddy. Make sure I don't hurt anybody's ears here. I'm gonna unplug it so I can have it going on here. And uh, let's see, was it Monday? Yeah, Monday, uh, we did a live, a members only live with uh, this topic, and I had a lot of fun with it. I think people enjoyed it, so I thought, well, we'll go ahead and do one on YouTube as well. So the topic is, as you can tell from the title, we're going to talk about improving your strumming using a drum machine. It could be subtitled, How to Make Practice More Fun, uh, because <laughs> this little drum pedal certainly does that. Hey, what's up from uh, St. Louis? Let's see. Let's go blues. Harry's here. What's up? Mark McKeeves here from UK. Hey, man. Thanks for joining in from across the pond there. Michael Gregory's here from Georgia. I think I got everybody. Got a Craig from Melbourne. Wow. We've got some international audience tonight. <laughs> thanks for uh, uh, working through your old time zones to watch us tonight. So thanks for tuning in. Um, this is be pretty fun. I'm going to attempt to do a couple of things just so you know what you're in store for. I'm going to talk about the actual pedal um, briefly and kind of uh, the features on it. I'm mostly going to focus on how you can use, and it doesn't have to be this pedal. Um, it could be a metronome or a drum pedal or a drum machine. How you can use something like that to uh, help you enjoy practice more and to improve your strumming. Um, so that's the main goal of, the, of this live stream. Charles Newman's here. What's up, Jeff Showers? Tom Carpenter's here. Good to see you guys. And I, um, as we get going, I'll talk a little bit. I'm just curious how many of you guys already own and use a type of drum pedal or drum machine. And when I say drum pedal and drum machine, I kind of mean the same thing. Uh, any type of device that's going to create a drum uh, beat that you have control over as far as like the tempo, um, the style. Um, if you guys use anything like that, just let me know in the comments, I'm just curious, or if you're uh, just here to learn about it for the first time. Mr. Maxton's here from Virginia. 
Good to see you. So while you guys are doing that, I'm going to kind of just show the actual pedal. And hopefully you guys can see this in the, if it's clear or not. Is that clear, Vic? A little. If you tap the screen, it, it might a little bit. focus on a little better. Didn't do anything. No. Can they see it, you think? Yeah. Okay. So this is the uh, pedal I've been using, and I've got to be honest, I'm a little addicted. <laughs> it is uh, something that you can really go down the rabbit hole with. So with this machine, it's pretty easy to use. Uh, you can see there's two knobs. I prefer guitar pedals that have knobs and things you can push and pull and turn, um, as opposed to kind of a uh, you know touch screen. There's a volume, which is self-explanatory. And this little, this other button does all the rest of the work. If you press it, it toggles in between like the, um, the genre and you press it again, it goes to the song. The songs are just numbered. They're all presets and tap it again and you can get to the tempo. Once you tap that little button, you just turn right and left to adjust the different parameters. Um, it's pretty easy to use. And then there's obviously a little, it's a foot pedal, so there's a little foot switch. And it's even got some writing that you can read if you're not really old <laughs> or have bifocals like me. There's like little notes, but I mean, one tap is a fill. Um, holding it down transitions from like the chorus to the verse back and forth. And the tap two times is what turns it off. Um, it is pretty cool because you can run it through an amplifier or you can run it through just a, I'm just using a little, um, tiny little speaker that does a pretty good job. And I've just got a little auxiliary out cord that goes from the speaker into the output. It does come with a little adapter so you can, um, you don't have to buy that, but if you're going to use this with something other than a guitar amp or just like a one quarter inch cable, you're going to buy a cable for it. Um, I don't know. Let's see. There we go. Joe can't type, but he's here. Oh, what's up, Joe? Good to see you. Tim Jedry's here. Let's see what's up, Tim. Greetings from the coast there. Uh, Frank says he's a first timer with pedals, although I have a distortion pedal, nice, and a looper, but he doesn't use much. Um, Henry from Seattle uses an old drum machine, too complicated to use all the time. Henry, that is probably the number one reason <laughs> I've, uh, I had lots of pedals back in the day when I was growing up. Uh, it was kind of a thing to have when you were 14, 15 years old. You know, you had a chorus pedal, you had a compression pedal, reverb pedal, uh, distortion pedal, flanger pedal, <laughs> delay pedal. Um, as I've grown older, I've kind of gotten rid of a lot of stuff. I, I love my acoustic guitar. Um, this is the main one I play. I do have an electric guitar, a small amp, and one distortion pedal and one looper pedal. Um, drum pedals that I've experienced in the past have been a little bit of a challenge, a little bit of a learning curve. This one Hi, is not so much that way. Hey, what's up, Dan? And this one is not that complicated to use. Um, there's a ton of presets. I've just discovered that uh, a couple of them in the rock section, the country section, and the blues section is really all I need. And it's pretty. if I can figure out how to use it, then you guys can too. Um, I'm not saying you have to use this. Um, I would encourage you to at least use a metronome. We're going to talk about that tonight. Um, I did leave a link in the description of this video um, to our shop page on Relax Learn Guitar and also the link to this actual drum pedal uh, you, if you're inclined to check it out. <laughs> um, no obligation, obviously. He has a beat amp, but don't use it, but will now use it. <laughs> David says I'll use it now. Cool. Yeah, so this one, um, like I said, I'm not like in being, I don't have like a sponsorship or an endorsement or anything for this. So I'm just talking about my experience with this actual pedal um, that Joe was so nice to send to me. Um, the uh, one thing that's been cool with it is it has showed me that, um, you know, I'm, well, I should back up. 
I don't want to tell folks not to tap their toes and use a metronome because that's kind of something I really believe helps a lot with playing the guitar if you watched any of my kind of rhythm lessons. But I have discovered this drum machine. It just is kind of like metronome on steroids and it has really kind of taken it to another <laughs> level. So get that being said. So without further ado, I'm gonna kind of show you a couple of things this does and I'm gonna give you some suggestions and not just like this particular pedal, but some suggestions on how to use a drum machine um, to practice and to get better at your strumming. So this one, um, and we'll say that the one bit of learning curve with this is not so much operating it with the buttons, it's the foot switch. It does take a little bit of time um, and I have not perfected it <laughs> to tap the uh, pedal when you want to change things up. What I find myself doing is just turning the pedal on and playing along with it. That's the most value I've gotten from it. If that makes sense. And as we're going along, if you guys have questions, just feel free to put them in the comments. So um, I'm going to give you a little example. I'm going to show you something that you can do um, with any drum machine or metronome for that matter that can help you strum and be in rhythm. And also with that, the numbers are on the left. Oh yeah, yeah, talk about that too. Oh, I wanna show the visual too, we'll show that later. Um, let's see here. What Vic was talking about, one cool thing with this pedal, um, I don't know who's the maker, is sound. Um, singular sound, I guess, is the manufacturer. They do have a website that has a ton of information. Um, so you can actually go to their website, look up a song, and it tells you what genre and settings to put on this little Beat Buddy. Um, and there's a couple of different ones. There's like a Beat Buddy Pro. I guess there was a Mini 1 before the Mini 2. Um, but it's pretty self-explanatory, and it tells you like what genre to pick, what song to pick, and what tempo for a ton of popular songs. So did, I did find that very, very cool. And the other thing that I've done with it, it has like an automatic fill. So uh, like automatic enter, I should say, that's just built in. So right when you tap it, it does like a little drum fill. I found that pretty distracting. You can turn it off and that's what I do when I use this because I just like the drum machine part. So let's talk about, um, <laughs> makes sense, cool. The uh, Suggestion to use this for strumming. We're just going to take some really uh, Some uh, simple chords here an E minor What's up Rick Russell good to see you uh, it's actually E minor 7 And a C add 9 And a G And a D so like the basics that are in a lot, a lot of songs. So you don't have to uh, be Eddie Van Halen to sound good with a guitar and a drum machine. So one thing you can do is pick a couple of chords you want to learn to switch in between to strum along to, and then just turn on the drum machine. Hopefully, oh, let me turn off the, uh, the intro. Hopefully that's loud enough. Can you guys let us know if you can hear that. Okay. So just take a couple chords. We'll do a couple things first. We're gonna take this E minor chord and we're just gonna strum down at the beginning of the beat. So one, two, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. And then we're gonna make eighth notes and add in the up strums in between. Something very 
simple like that. Hold on here. Something very simple like that. Hopefully that's not, is that like the right volume <laughs> to hear the drum machine and my guitar? Graham here from Yorkshire, England. Another friend across from the pond there. Good to see you. Thanks for tuning in. So something as, um, and then if you're doing that kind of an exercise, what I uh, talk about a lot of times is just using a metronome to do that. You know, here's the difference. If we said that was a, um, a little rock beat at 80 beats per minute. And if you've set your metronome to 80 beats, it just seems so tiny now because you have the same idea, that beep. So we have one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Quarter notes and then into the eighth notes. same idea and that's why I say uh, it's really important to use some type of device I'm a big proponent of the metronome I'll actually leave a video up here uh, once the live is done I'll put a card in for you to check out uh, a lesson I did on how to use a metronome to improve your rhythm it's a pretty good lesson to check out kind of goes along with this theme here okay yeah a little, a little loud all right we'll see don't want that to drown everything out um, so with that, you have, um, turn off the enter here. That type of a little exercise, you can also just use a drum machine to switch between chords. So you have. Three, four, two, three, four, back and forth. it for uh, finger exercises. The other thing I really like about this drum machine is that it's uh, a really good way to move from kind of beginner on up because you have a lot of control over the tempo piece. So if you don't uh, know how to play a song to full tempo yet, you can use this little machine here to, you know, start out slow and work your way up. Pretty, pretty cool. Better. Just add some fun. Yeah, you know. exactly. So let me, uh, I'll give you an idea of what I'm talking about. Let's do a little Bad Moon Rising. That was something we had, was messing around with on Monday. So let's say we're gonna play a little Bad Moon Rising and we're gonna use our metronome and set it to 170. Because we want to practice to that speed. Not bad. Half of my toe. So that's kind of the metronome sound. You can use this uh, to kind of dial in the more uh, interesting <laughs> beats. Let's Victor's see here. here from Victor Thompson. Hello, Mr. Victor. Good to see you. Let's see here. And 170. So you could use the metronome for that, or you could do, I'll put this down here. Let's see. Just gives it more interest. sounds a little more like the actual song while you're practicing so that's cool and the uh, the visual let's, let's put on a slow one here I'll show you what I mean by that so if you're more of a visual learner with this one 
while it's playing. I don't know if you guys will be able to see this. Can you see that, Vic? I see white. Yeah, you can't see the screen? No. Ah. I can't. Yeah, they probably can't. There's a little uh, LED screen on this that has a line that kind of uh, moves with the beat. So if you're more of a visual learner, this is a nice little tool for you too because you can watch the beat move um, instead of just hearing it tap like in a metronome. There's an arrow in here. Hello from Sacramento, California. Good to see you. Victor says he's got to try this. It, it, is, it is a lot of fun. Um, just to give you an idea of what you can do with it. Let's see here. Sorry, bending up and down a lot tonight. My, my, my gut's in my way. So, um, let's see here. So I have a little blues thing I was working on. And it's cool to practice that with a metronome. drum machine you can get a little more out of it let's see if this is too loud now that should work okay You get the idea the um what this actually does is it also helps train your ear and your brain <laughs> to playing along with a another band uh, member so if you've got buddies that play some drums or it could even be as simple as like a box drum or bongos or anything like that it really kind of helps um the Questions. we got a question Sure thing. Let's see. What's up, Terry? What's up, Terry? Good to see you. Um, demo three, four, and three six timing. If you got that far, um, I have not gotten that far, but I have the way that the drum, the little beat buddy has different time signatures. So what Brad's talking about, a lot of the songs we'll play are going to be in four four time um, or three four time. Some blues. And it does have songs that are built into this that have those time signatures built in. So Brad, basically what that means, if you're playing a blues like in a three, four, or six, eight time, um, it just extends the measure for you. So it's um, a way for the time signature to work. You're not gonna hear that as much just from the beat, but you're gonna tell it more from the, the beats moving across the screen to help you stay in time. That's the best way I could explain it. I haven't really, experiment with that that much yet on this particular pedal let's see <laughs> diana said she just got this pedal 10 minutes ago easy to get started and have fun well that's good good to hear fun is always good and frank's got one nice you guys are sending like fine, we'll be soon. nice frank's gonna have one too um let's see what else can i show you guys um Oh, we could like make up a song too. So um, this one will work good on this setting actually. So back to those just uh, four chords. I'll just kind of show you what it does here. Let's see here, I get the beat in my head here. So nothing fancy. really a nice way to add to something you already know.
Yeah, I gotta get the, like double tapping your toe mm, is not like the most natural thing that I do. So sometimes it, it runs on a little bit. What's up, Henry? Working on Chris Stapleton six, eight time. How easy to set up an unusual timing. They're built in. So um, for your question, Henry, I'm going to see if they've got one on here. Um, there are so many different genres on here. Honestly, I'm, I'm telling you, like the rock, country, and blues is probably enough to get you by. Let's see if we got... So you're looking for a 6-8 time. In the blues setting, there are... Yeah. One, two, three, four. There's like six presets for six, eight time. Let's do one of them here. <laughs> Gotta remember to lick. So I had not ever even played that beat. So it's pretty easy as the answer to your question on that one, Henry. Um, there's not a way to program this drum machine. And in my opinion, that's not a bad thing. I think some of the complication that I've had in the past with either drum machines or looper pedals is like too many options. This one, you basically find a beat with the time signature and the style that you like, adjust the tempo, and go. <laughs> so I think it would work perfect for that. The other thing this uh, machine does, like uh, metronomes as well, for myself personally, it helps me slow down. I typically play it too fast. So this is a nice way to, because that was probably a too fast of a tempo for that one, but I, I hope that answers your question. Oh, let's try that. I think that's what he said. It popped up quick. Blues 3 is 6 8. Blues 3. Yeah, that sounds right. Yeah, there's definitely a, uh, a way to find pretty much most of what you're going to need with this little pedal. Hey, what's up, William? Good to see you. I <laughs> had to finish his steak. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, let's see. Uh, which one were you saying to play? He said blues. No, you were saying another song to play. Oh, a little rocking in the free world. One of my favorites. Yeah, this one's fun. So um, the other thing that's cool um, with this is the different like uh, rock, blues, and country beats cover a lot of ground. I mean, you can delve into the stuff that's on here for like Latin beats and techno and you know jazz and everything else. But I'm finding those three settings pretty much cover everything I need so far. Anyway, um, let's see. That is country six. Bear with me as I change settings. Yeah, there we go. So this is, yeah, a little... Oh, let's make sure the volume's on. <laughs> there we go. This is live. Yeah, 
it's um, like I said, it's a major time uh, time sucker for sure. What's up, Jack? Yeah, check it out. And like I said, if you guys um, are interested in this actual model, um, you can get the link to the Amazon affiliate that we have that's in the description below. Um, or go to our shop page if you like some guitar. The other thing I left in the description is a link to a video for our latest video, or my latest video on the eight chords that everyone must know, um, which is a cool little, if you're a more of a beginner, some chords that are going to be used in a ton, hundreds, maybe thousands of songs. Um, there's a link in the description for that one. I'll also leave it here in a card when the live uh, stream is over, if you're watching this after it's live. Oh, Dan, you're right. I have to plug in the old uh, electric guitar and put some distortion on that for some rocking in the free world. I can put that one on the list. <laughs> nice. Yeah, it's a great thing for that too. So if you've got a, if you got a, like a looper pedal and a drum pedal, that's and you, that's pretty much the one man band, one woman band, whichever one. You can cover a lot of ground with those things. And again, um, check out the metronome lesson because even if you don't have a drum machine or you're not going to get one, definitely use a metronome to help with your rhythm and your timing. It will improve and it will make, uh, and that can make practice fun as well because you'll see the progress. But this little beat buddy thing just makes it fun because it's a cool little toy. Any questions in here, let me know. I'm going to make sure that I've covered everything on my list. Uh, we've talked about uh, strumming. I would start out at like maybe 80 beats per minute. The tempo on this is really easy to adjust and just kind of pick those chords that you're working on a couple of things. You can use it to get better at changing chords. You can get better at strumming, you know, doing that simple exercise with quarter, eighth, and sixteenth notes, as well as uh, strumming, you know, patterns that you want to try out with it too. Oh, you can uh, watch from the beginning. It's a little Beat Buddy Mini 2 is the pedal I'm using. Um, once we're done, you can uh, just watch from the beginning. And what's Robert saying? He's got one. If he got one, he may have to send his wife. <laughs> that gets on her nerves. Yeah. Yeah. Vicky has been listening to lots of drum beats this past week. <laughs> and is very, I'm very lucky to have a very patient wife, so that helps. So check out those uh, links. Um, have fun with it. I may do, uh, uh, or I guess let me ask you this. Would you guys like a uh, actual YouTube video um, that's more of an actual review and demonstration um, that obviously would be shorter than this live stream? Um, would be, that be something you'd be interested in? Letting, just let me know here in the comments because I could also do that where I could uh, edit it some and go through some of the features and kind of the things you can do with it. Am I going to use this in my left? Oh, yeah. I, I don't know, Frank. I mean, um, I use it more to kind of practice. Um, I do think that it's a great little tool, but I don't want it to take the place of learning how to tap your toe along with the beat. And I don't want it to take the place of using a metronome just because that's something I think that once it's ingrained in your brain, it helps you for a long, long time. So you'll probably see it pop up in lessons here and there, Frank. <laughs> Diana says that the demo vid would be cool. Yeah, I was thinking I might do that um, just because it was, it's a lot of ground to cover. Tonight, I just wanted to give you guys an idea of how to make your practice fun. The most important thing is to have fun when you're playing the guitar. Um, it is relax and learn guitar after all here. So anything that can help you practice more and play more, I'm all for. And I do think this little pedal can do that. Let's see. Um, I don't know what Blair's talking about. Okay. Well, you can, he can message me later if he wants. Let's see. We've got that. Uh, covered everything, I think. Links are in the description. Thanks so much for tuning in tonight, guys. I enjoyed it. Mark is at its second vote. Third vote. Thumbs up from Sydney as well. Yeah, so I might have to put the old Beat Buddy Mini 2 demo on the old YouTube channel. So look for that coming soon. 
thanks so much. Uh, you are welcome, Diana. Always great to connect with folks. I appreciate the members that have uh, logged in and uh, tuned in tonight. If you are not a member of Relax Long Guitar, you can um, check out the link. I'll leave that in the description as well if you're interested in the full access membership that we run. Nice, great place to be. You have a great night too. Uh, Henry says, when I use my looper and drum machine and turn off looper, the drum machine keeps going and overrides the looper sound. Oh, this does not, I don't think so, Henry. Um, I do know that the volume on this pedal is independent. So when you change the volume, so as long as you put this at the end of your signal, like you would want this pedal to be the last thing in your pedal chain signal. Um, I have not experimented with the looper to see if it does that or not, but that's a good point. You're welcome, David. You guys have a great week as well and a good weekend. Dan's liking the info. Good to hear. Always want to be helpful. You're welcome, Henry. And I will see you guys later. Let's see. We'll do Hi a little. Everyone. Turn up a little bit. See you guys later.